today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video that's highly requested. I'm really into diet and nutrition. I'm also into cooking so I think this will be very fun to show you guys like what I eat throughout the day because I put a lot of love into my meals and I also am going to share my supplements that I take. It's pretty early right now. It's 8 a.m. I just woke up and the first thing I do right when I wake up I take an aloe shot. I get this one by Lily of the Desert. If you get this, you want to get the inner fillet, and then I also get the preservative free one. The ingredients is just aloe and lemon juice, but this is so good for the gut on an empty stomach. I'm very into gut health, so I do everything I can to have a healthy gut. I don't measure it, but I just estimate like a shot, so like two ounces. I actually really love the taste of this refreshing. It feels like so hydrating. And then when I take my shot, I take my probiotics and I take these ones from Seed. I've just heard great things about these ones. And they're like a probiotic inside of a, another capsule so the probiotic survives the trip to your gut, which is important. It's important to get high quality probiotics because some of them are a scam. And so I take that with my shot. Do like a two in one. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, next up we got another shot. This is like a ginger turmeric juice. I get this at the farmer's market. This local guy makes it. Ginger, turmeric, lemon, and like a touch of honey. So it's actually really yummy. I just have, I still have a little bit left in this one. I never let this run out because it's so good. Just gonna do a little shot of this. Ginger is really good for digestion and turmeric is a really good anti-inflammatory compound so that's just like so good for the entire body. Well, I'm going to send you an unreal video. Mm -hmm. TikTok just released a, an updated version of their creator fund and it's paying a, a lot of money. I just, I just qualified for the YouTube uh, creator program. Really? Yeah. Nice. You have to hit 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, it's just, a lot. I just hit it. You can generally buy like a ginger or turmeric shot at like any grocery store. They just sell like little shots if you want. Or you could be be extra and you can make your own. I've tried that before, but the turmeric like literally stains everything. The next thing I make is chia water. And it's a very simple recipe. I just do a tablespoon of chia. I'm making one for Luke too, so I'm just doubling this. And then I add hot water. I like to do hot water because it's just better for the digestion than drinking cold water. And the chias are so good for your gut because when you combine them with water, they turn into this like fiber that lines your gut with, with fiber and it's like just really good for you. Then I make Luke's taste a little better. Add a splash of orange juice to his and a touch of honey, just like a teaspoon. And we like to use raw honey because it still has all the antioxidants, all the nutrients in it still. And honey's actually so good for you. This seems so random, but I know what I'm doing when it comes to my supplements and stuff and this combo with the aloe shot and the probiotics and the ginger like my digestion is just like on point and I sometimes struggle with that so this combo is like so good for me if you want to implement any of the things I would say start with one of them because it's definitely not going to be a lot to add to your morning routine to try to do all this then I like to add a little straw because the chia seeds can get clumpy. So it's nice to just mix it. And then Luke and I will go enjoy these out in the sun. That's like our little morning routine. And I'm going to do some reading. I have my swimsuit on under this so that I can get some color in the morning. Okay, it's time to make some breakfast. I'm gonna make some little egg white bites and put a bit of cooked ground beef in each cup. I've got five little silicone muffin tins here. Add two to three tablespoons of egg whites per cup. 
So just the egg whites alone in here is 20 grams of protein. And then since I also have ground beef, this is probably like 30 plus grams of protein in, in these egg bites. And I try to aim to get 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal. As, as a someone my size, as a woman, that's the maximum amount that I can absorb at once. I really think protein's important because it keeps me full and it like feeds my muscles. I just really revolve my meals around protein. And I don't count macros or calories, but I will sometimes estimate that I'm getting enough protein in each meal. That's like the one thing that I'll count, if anything. And then I just like to top it with some chopped veggies. Today I'm using some chopped red onion just to add some nutrients and flavor. So I'm gonna add some salt just on top of each one. I love using pink Himalayan salt. All these like facts that I'm saying is things that I've learned. Like I have no, no sources to say and like I am not certified in nutrition or anything. So like take everything I say with a grain of salt and also just take what resonates with you or inspires you and leave the rest. Like I'm not I'm not here to like tell you how to eat. My diet changes all the time and this is just what I've been into lately. So there's no right way or wrong way to eat. I just hope I can maybe give you some inspo or maybe you learn something new. Okay, and then I'm doing some fresh cracked pepper on each one. And my oven is preheated, it's at 350, and then I'm gonna bake these for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna check on them at 20 and see if they're good to go. I love keeping nuts out in like cute little jars because I find that if I'm like getting snacky or something, I'll just reach for a couple nuts. Nuts are the best snack. They've got a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat, and they're all natural. So throughout the day, I'll probably totally eat like a handful of nuts just because I'll like randomly grab one or two when I'm feeling snacky. And I used to be a huge like snack or grazer type of person. I was like not big into like eating like actual meals. But I feel like eating that way was giving me anxiety because my body was like constantly like hungry and it was never getting like enough at once. So I was like thinking about food all the time and like I was like afraid to eat like a full meal because like I had already eaten so many snacks throughout the day and I was just hard to keep track of like what nutrients I was getting and if I was getting enough. In the past year I would say I've, I've started to really focus on eating three meals a day. Okay, my muffins have been in for 25 minutes so I'm going to take them out. These look so good. Oh, it's really hot. Mmm. It's really good with the onion. And if you're if you're not a ground beef person, these would be really good with like sausage, even like some like diced up sliced turkey, some bacon bits, ground turkey. You could probably do ground chicken, like you could do whatever you want. Mm. I'm gonna go enjoy these and do some journaling. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, it's like 10 30, 11 now. I just finished eating. I only had four of the muffins because I got a little full. And I'm gonna make a matcha now. I like to eat breakfast before caffeine because otherwise I feel like my hormones get all over whack and I get anxious. So I've made it a habit to eat breakfast before caffeine and now I don't even crave caffeine in the morning. I think it helped me break my caffeine addiction because I don't have caffeine now until like 11 or 12 and some days I don't even have it at all and I'm fine. This is the best matcha, peak sun goddess matcha. It's just really high quality and the taste is amazing. I don't even add sweetener to it. So my matcha latte recipe is pretty simple. Two little scoops of matcha. It's probably around a teaspoon total. And then I sift it, which really helps it get 
super smooth. And then I add room temperature water because if you add boiling water, it will like kill the matcha. And I take my little bamboo whisk and just whisk her up. The bamboo whisk works way better than an electric whisk because it really grinds the matcha down and makes it super smooth. And I'm going for an iced matcha. So I'm just gonna pour this over some ice. Then I just put pour some almond milk over it. This is homemade almond milk. I make my almond milk myself with just almonds and water. I have an almond cow, if you know what that is. It's like um, a machine specifically for making nut milk. And then I just add my little straw and that's all. Very easy, simple matcha. I've grown to love the taste of matcha. Before I loved it though, I would put a monk fruit sweetener in it or like stevia to make it, it taste better. But now I like really actually enjoy the taste of just pure matcha. I know some people like to do honey or maple syrup to sweeten it too, if you don't like the taste of green tea. Just about to do a workout. It's noon. This is usually around the time that I go for a workout and I work out here at the house, so it's very easy. I don't have to plan anything. Usually when I finish my matcha is when I work out so that like the caffeine is running through my veins and it's peak performance time. And I've got a meal in me for breakfast and then after this I'll be hungry for lunch. I found that this is like great timing for me. I always use Sammy Clark's app and I just set it up on my phone out here and play it on my speaker and it's just a vibe. The pool and the palm tree just give like this great, this great view to work out to. It's the vibe. I'm gonna do a full body, 35 minute full body workout today. It's completely optional. You really protein and greens blend and this brand is great they have really clean ingredients always and they just come in these little packs these in particular do not taste the best to me so i like to mix them with a lot of goodies they definitely belong in a smoothie hi babe hello okay. you're gonna make right now what are you making? give me a shake do you want one it looks pretty good. Okay, I ended up adding a tablespoon of almond butter and a splash of almond milk and like a cup of ice. Hello again. I feel like this whole video is going to be in the same spot in my kitchen. This is like my little square that I like to cook in. I'm gonna make myself a little greens juice just with some greens powder. I start to crave this in the afternoon. I think it's my body craving like a little pick-me-up. It's 2.30 right now. So I just do a little scoop of greens powder and then some water. This greens powder is from First Form. They do like a cold process greens powder so it holds on to a lot of the nutrients since it's, it's cold processed and you could tell in the color like it's brighter green and it tastes fresher than like your average green juice. That's fire. Hello. It's a bit later and I'm attempting to make some little cookie dough balls. I love making little treats like this. It's so fun for me. Now that's looking like cookie dough. I kind of just made up this recipe. I'll put it on the screen for you guys because I kept track of all the things I put in. 
if you want to try to recreate these. Oh, I want to add some chocolate chips. Now, I always end up creating my own recipes for things just because I substitute things a lot. I'm always trying to make things healthier and it's just like creative and fun to make my own recipes. And then it's mine and I can call it my recipe even though it was inspired by somebody else. One cup of chickpeas and I put that in the blender with two tablespoons of maple syrup to get like it, to get this nice little like chickpea paste going. And then I added two tablespoons of almond butter and two tablespoons of peanut butter powder, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of almond meal. I just put that all in the blender and then just blended it until it was like a nice cookie dough consistency. I just mixed in some chocolate chips. And I think that's it makes these little cute little protein balls and it's vegan friendly so if you're vegan this would be a fun recipe to make this is a recipe that i started making when i was vegan like a year ago i decided to dip the little balls in chocolate really sliding around because i'm trying to show you they're so cute they're like little peanut butter chocolate bites and to make the to make the chocolate coating, I just melted. I did a double broiler, meaning like you boil water in one pan and then put another pan on top of it and put chocolate and then a bit of coconut oil and wait till it melts and then you want to dip the balls in. And they look so cute. And when I make treats like this, I usually just have like one. I'm not good with sugar. I feel like it really like spikes my blood sugar and then I have like this weird, this like weird mood crash after and I'm really sensitive to that. So I try not to like have too much sugar at once, but here and there, it's good. It's dinner time and we usually start cooking around seven. It's 7.40, so it's a bit later tonight. I always wait till Luke goes to work out so that when he comes home, dinner's ready and he just left. So timing's perfect. And some days we eat later and some days we eat earlier. It, it just is what it is. I would prefer to eat earlier, I think, if it was up to me. But I really enjoy having dinner with Luke, so I'll plan around whatever works best for him. His schedule definitely takes priority over mine. Tonight we are making cilantro lime chicken with mango salsa and cilantro lime rice Which just sounds so good to me. I've got the rice cooking right now and I'm following a recipe and I like to just have my phone On one of these little stands while I cook just so that I can look at recipes really easy I think my rice is done. I'm working on the mango salsa right now. I usually will make whatever meat we're having for dinner, I'll make it fresh. But to, we actually have a, some pre-made grilled chicken that Luke got from Costco last week. And I wanna eat that because this is like a chicken dish. It would just be easier than to have to make my own. That makes it dinner easier, but it means I can put more effort into this salsa that I'm making. I'll link the recipe for you guys because I'm following this recipe from Chelsea's messyapron.com. I love to, look on pinterest and find meal and spo and then i create a meal plan for the week with all the recipes that i know what to shop for so right now we're doing the mango salsa and i'm just prepping the ingredients i've had a lot of fun with prepping ingredients lately because i got these little tiny ingredient bowls and i just will prep the smaller ingredients like whatever needs to be chopped or whatever, I'll like prep them and leave them aside so that the assembly of the recipe is like so smooth and it just makes it more fun and enjoyable. I really romanticize my making dinner process because I just enjoy cooking. So like, for example, I'll either pour myself a glass of water or a glass of kombucha in a wine glass. I've got some music playing, I don't know if you can hear, I'm listening to some lo-fi. Got my dress, my house dress on. I'm all clean, I did my skincare and showered after I went for an hour walk. 
So those are the vibes right now. And I'm home alone because Luke's at the gym. So just total peace. We have so many mangoes because they're, it's a local fruit here and Luke just bought so many one day. So I've been trying to use them in recipes. Last night we made a Thai salad with, with mango and tonight I'm making a mango salsa. I saw this hack on TikTok for cutting mangoes and you basically take the rim of a glass and you take your mango cheek and then you just slice it using the rim. And it's actually like, it actually works. It makes it so easy. And then you got all your mango cheeks and then you cut them up and they're ready to go. My rice is done and now I'm gonna add a bit of lime juice and lime zest to make it the lime cilantro rice that it is and some cilantro and then also some salt and pepper it's gonna be so good look how good these bowls turned out i did the a little scoop of the cilantro lime rice and then i mixed together all the ingredients for the avocado salsa and put like a heaping serving of the avocado salsa in each bowl and then i just did the pre-made grilled chicken this looks so bomb i love when a meal turns out like colorful like this you know it's a sign that it's gonna be good and luke just got home from the gym so we're ready to eat and i was just telling them how i, I was waiting for you to get home from the gym so we could eat together i'm home i'm home i'm in the outfit you bought me Wow, babe. Drew House. Drew House. You're looking really cozy. Where should we eat? You want to eat in the coffee table and sit on the floor? What a treat.